G'day there, welcome to the weekend uh, general market update for the 28th of October and uh, we're well into the correction now in the, in the US uh, was probably always going to happen in October and this is just setting up better op entry opportunities for us. Just a reminder about the general advice nature of this uh, particular video. So summary of the week, the S&P ended up down 21 points on the week and is not quite down to support level so I think there might be a little bit more downside yet but after an initial bit of a slapping for uh, technology stocks they did hold up fairly well last week and so did the mid cap stocks and that's why I'm still very firmly of the view that this is not a more substantial correction as some commentators are predictably calling for uh, if it was then we'd be seeing I think the uh, the smaller mid cap stocks falling apart uh, a lot more and certainly the um, the Nasdaq index as well so 1395 is the support level we're looking for uh, we dipped almost to 1400 during the week but uh, then bounced a little bit from there we'll have a look at that chart in just a minute now the ASX 200 um, pretty negative week uh, we had two reasonably significant down days and uh, we ended up lower by 100 points and that pretty much reversed all of the gains that we'd made the previous week and again resource stocks were the major losers uh, resource stocks obviously always more volatile when the market takes a bit of a downturn US dollar uh, is really stuck in a trading range so it's not really giving much direction to stock markets at the moment but the overall direction for the US dollar you would have to think would be further down from here and whilst we saw bond yields uh, kick up a little bit in Spain and in Italy they're still significantly lower than they were three or four months ago Spanish yields were above 7% Italian yields were above 6% so yes they did tick up a little bit but um, that's still far far better than it was in the middle of the year Let's have a look at the S&P. So you can see we had uh, we had a couple of sharp days uh, down, one in the week previous. We've got this support here at 13.95. You can see the downward momentum seems to be easing now. We're getting plenty of buying support coming in around this 1400 level. So uh, we could see a little bit more downside in the in the week to come, but I would be surprised if that level breaks, particularly as we're almost into November and the November through to Christmas period is generally fairly positive. There's probably a little bit of uncertainty in the market at the moment regarding the outcome of the US election. That's probably not helping, but um, I really don't see any significant downside in the market. Let's have a look at the, uh, the US dollar index. You can see we had a very, very sharp fall once this support broke here in August fell away very sharply and now we've had a lengthy consolidation uh, basically since the middle of September so we're about five or six weeks into that consolidation I would expect the next um, significant move to be to the downside on the dollar index now looking at uh, the Aussie index you can see we had uh, two sharp days down on both Wednesday and on Friday the index was quite overbought so this is not surprising um, it's pulling back and I don't really worry too much about retracement levels on the index because it's um, it's not really telling us that much unless you're actually trading the index um, via the futures market or something like that so I don't worry too much about the Aussie index but let's just have a look at the um, at the relative comparison chart looking at the sectors over the last 12 months you can see clearly we've got healthcare and telecoms on top way out in front uh, we've got the banks here in blue in the middle just turned down a little bit in the last uh, week and uh, and then we've got uh, the small caps and energy and materials at the bottom and you can see everything except telecoms pretty much turned down over the last uh, week but clearly that's where the uh, where the momentum still is it's um, it's telecoms and uh, and healthcare and and followed to a degree by by banks as well 
now gold uh, declined a further $15 on the week so gold still looking for support uh, there was a support level at 1717 and that broke so we're now looking at 1692 as uh, being likely and uh, we've still got probably another $20 or so to get down to that level and also 1668 is uh, is a possible support level as well now silver actually fared a bit better than gold on the week um, it uh, it had been hit a bit harder the week before so I guess that's uh, not surprising $30.37 is still a possible support level to look for on silver copper uh, eased back a little bit where we're off the $3.70 $3.80 highs now but um, it's still pretty uh, robust territory at $3.55 for copper uh, oil had lost uh, quite a bit of ground from the middle of the year we we're trading up around $100 we got down to 85 84 but um, oil has uh, just popped back up a little bit but the longer term for oil is um, is probably going to be a little bit under pressure because they're now starting to find so much oil in the US that it's really making a massive change to the global energy market this is the uh, the spot copper chart so you can see we're uh, we're down off those three dollars eighty highs but um, but really at this level three dollars anything above three dollars is still pretty profitable for a lot of copper producers so let's have a look now at, uh, at gold and silver this is gold on a weekly chart so yes it's declined three weeks running but look there's nothing dramatic in there if you if you go back to these periods here in September of 2011 uh, into November and again in December of 2011 there was some very very sharp moves and even here into this year in March we had some sharp moves the, the decline that we've had in the last couple of weeks is pretty mild by comparison let's just look at the daily and that's coming off a, a double top coming off being um, reasonably overbought so this pullback is not surprising so you can see here the downward momentum looks as though it's starting to run out of steam we broke through this uh, first support level at 1716 1692 is um, is likely I would think and 1668 is possible we're starting to get down to be pretty oversold now on the um, on the gold uh, price so um, a little bit more down to 1692 would be uh, would be just perfect I think this is silver you can see really didn't lose much ground last week at all it was pretty flat on the week but it had been um, it had been hit harder the week before so still looking for thirty dollars thirty seven as a possibility may not get down that far but um, but that would be uh, a possible area now looking at the uh, the gold stock indices uh, this is the HUI index we've got to support level down here at uh, 474 and the price got down or well, the index got down to uh, 479 during the week so we still might get just a little bit more unwinding on uh, on international gold stocks so just uh, finally in terms of uh, strategy look nothing's really changed uh, we uh, this correction now is setting up better entry opportunities for us it's just a matter now of waiting for this uh, this correction to play out um, the medium term for stocks I believe is higher and certainly is for gold stocks as well so looking to uh, to buy the dips on gold stocks but we're now getting a bit more of a dip than what we've seen over the last um, few months on gold stocks so uh, just take your time with it and um, it'll set up some great entry opportunities that's it for this weekend cheers